Hi, my name is Hannah Hungerford and I'm a music teacher at Taramara High School. My name is Douglas Sham and I'm a music teacher at Taramara High School. As a team, we love getting to see students at all stages, getting to explore being creative and building their confidence. Over the years, we have seen music students be ignited in passion, be raised up in leadership and explore creativity in whatever field they choose. So we decided that we would put together this little video to help answer some of your common questions asked when we're, you're choosing music for a stage five or six. So the first question is, uh, can I study music having never studied music before? Or maybe you don't play an instrument, but you're interested in doing the music course at school. The short answer is yes, definitely. Uh, you can study music having never picked up an instrument in your life. Um, in stage five, every student gets an experience on uh, this similar instrument. So everyone will learn a bit of piano, everyone will learn a bit of guitar um, to help our growing our basic understanding of music. The second question is, I'm advanced in my instruments. I do AMEV. Should I still study music in elective? Uh, the great thing is that we don't do the same stuff as AMEV or with most private teachers. What we actually do does help and it synergizes with it. So you become a much better rounded musician if you do music elective or if you do music in stage six. For example, uh, we work as a class, we do productions like the Beatles and funk productions, uh, and there's aspects of collaboration, of production, of community that you won't find elsewhere. Um, students are having a lot of fun creating those and they have, they have work to show for as well. Our next question is, if I don't do music in year 9 and 10, can I still do it in year 11 and 12? The short answer again is yes. However, stage 6 content will build upon stage 5 content. Uh, so it's advised that you do study stage 5 so that you're ready for stage 6. Do I have to be part of band or choir? Or do I need to do any AMEB exams? It's not mandatory to be part of any extracurricular activities, but they all have their place and they all have their merit. And so it's worthwhile doing those things um, uh, because they will all help you become a better musician. It's not mandatory, but it is worthwhile. <laughs> what will we study? Well, there's a large range of music topics that your teacher will choose from. Um, there is a sample program on the website. However, within these topics, you'll get an experience of performing, composing, and listening. Uh, so if you're interested in finding out a bit about what an elective uh, course could look like, uh, explore further in the website. Okay, now the next couple of questions will relate with senior music with stage six. What's the difference between music one and music two? Uh, music one was a course designed uh, a little later, which originally was created for students who didn't complete the music course in years 9 and 10. And so the focus is different. Music 1 has a greater focus on contemporary music. You've got topics like musical theatre and jazz uh, and things like that. It's got more electives and the exam is a listening exam and it doesn't have score reading. Music 2 uh, was the course which was created first and it is more based on Western art music and so it's it follows in the traditions of you know Bach, Beethoven and, and that style of music. Um, the exams will include things like score reading and so will the content that we study um, and it's a more balanced course in that you will be doing uh, let's say a major work in composition as well as performing as well as writing um, a extended response. So it's a much more balanced course. I'd recommend it for you know, for further studies and uh, for kind of really understanding the big picture of music. Uh, but Music One is a fantastic course for, yeah, the more contemporary styles. Oh, and one more question. How about extension music? Extension music is a course which is offered in the HSC year. So after you study year 11 music, uh, music two, you can choose to do extension music uh, along with music two in the HSC year. The course involves producing a major work. So if you choose to be a, um, doing performing, you need to perform three pieces. If you choose to do composing, you need to compose two contrasting works. And if you choose to do a musicology major, you write an essay and you explore in that, uh, in that field. So hopefully this was helpful and it answered some of your questions. However, if it didn't and you've still got questions to ask, um, you can explore this website a bit further or email us. Our emails are on the website for you to uh, get in contact.